I'm Justin Flom, and I'm not a demon. Okay, that's a weird thing to say, but it's necessary. I change water into coke, I pull candy out of my face, I spit fire, so people tend to think I'm a demon. Let me show you. You are a demon, you. Another demon-possessed puppet, around with voodoo. This is demonic, works with the devil. You're a vile pig who mocks Jesus Christ. Demonic forces, demon magic, Justin, you're not fooling anyone. Justin doesn't actually do this magic, he has a spirit do it for him. Satan? If you ever perform blasphemies in front of me, I'll spit in your face, demon. <sighs> okay, so these actually do bother me because most of the people who are commenting this identify as Christians. And I identify as a Christian. And I'm not just a casual Christian, I'm a Christ follower. I grew up doing missionary work all over the world where I would use magic the way that Jesus used parables. Magic to teach a lesson. Now, back then, nobody thought that my magic was demonic because my magic was not very good. Kind of sucked. But I've gotten better now. So people want to know, am I a demon? No. So then how do I do my magic tricks? Good question. Well, it starts here. I invite over my friends. They're all sleight of hand experts whose job is to create magic tricks. And even though they look weird, hey, they're not the <laughs> She was asking for it. I believe we just set off the fire alarm. Trust me. Creating magic is really more arts and crafts than it is conjuring dark forces. After that, I practice, like really hard. Hours and hours and hours. I might practice a card move 500 times. I want it to look natural and easy, so I put in the hours. The end result looks like this. So I'm not a demon. I'm a magician. That clears everything up, right? Not really. You see, I told you I'm a Christian, and the Bible says no magic. Okay, so even if you're not a believer yourself, you can imagine how hard that is for me personally. So I did a little bit of research. Here's what I found. The word in the Bible that's most associated with evil magic is pharmakos. The other word that's often used is magos. In biblical times, a magician wasn't somebody who did magic tricks like we think of today. It also referred to doctors, astrologers, astronomers, scientists. So these two biblical words covered a lot of things, and they were used to talk about the wise men who visited Jesus and Joseph in the Old Testament. So, obviously the Bible's not condemning science, doctors, and astronomy. The magic that the Bible is condemning is the use of trickery and deception to make people think that you're God or that you have supernatural ability. Today, the word magician really is only used to describe entertainers, people like me. In biblical times, there were no magician entertainers. The first Magic as Entertainment book didn't come out till the 1600s, and this was mostly to expose witchcraft as sleight of hand and keep people from burning our magicians. Magic may be the second oldest profession in the world, but it's a new thing, Magic as Entertainment. And that's what I do. Other people may have said my magic is supernatural, but I've never said it. I'm certainly not a demon. Or am I? Yeah, totally not. This is uh, just a tube with a lighter. Uh, that's Bizarro down there with the butane shocker. has got a string on that hanky. And these are contact lenses, kids. Magic's not real. That's pretty fun, though. 